Welcome and welcome back everybody. T here and in today's video we'll be doing a solo playthrough of For Northwood, a solo trick-taking game designed by Will Sue. During the course of the playthrough I'll give a tutorial about how the game is played and be sure you stick around for the end of the video where I share my thoughts in general. Without further ado, let's get started. So here's a game of For Northwood set up and ready to play. Over the course of the game we are going to be engaging in dialogues with the eight rulers in order to try to win their favor for Northwood. So for setup we are going to start by placing out the fief cards from zero to seven. You can obviously do this in a straight line, but if you're under recording constraints like me, do whatever works. You are then going to place out the visiting card randomly that will come into play in just a moment. You can then place out your four allies. If you are playing an introductory game, it's recommended that you start with the jack of each suit. You will shuffle up the other rulers and play and assign them to one fief each. You can then shuffle up the dialogue cards and draw eight to form your starting hand. Each round of the game is going to be called a visit. During a visit, you are going to be selecting a ruler to visit and trying to win the number of tricks indicated on their fief card. Prior to starting a visit, you can start by substituting in any other rulers that you have already won favor of by placing them over your allies. Allies will typically be able to be used once per round from round to round, whereas substituting rulers will only be able to be used once per game. Once you've selected any substitutions you may like to make, then you're going to go ahead and start the visit. Prior to engaging in a dialogue, aka a trick, you can tap any of your ally cards to show that you're going to possibly use their ability in that dialogue. You'll then flip over the starting card, which will be the ruler's dialogue, and you'll have to follow with a dialogue card from your hand. If you're not familiar with typical trick taking games, you have to follow the suit of the card played if you can, otherwise you can play any other suit. And to determine the winner of that dialogue or trick, you'll first take a look at the trump suit, which will be indicated by the ruler's card. The highest card played in that suit will be the winner. If there is no card of the trump suit played, then the highest card of the leading suit will win. If you've won the dialogue, you'll place your card to the right of the deck. If you have lost the dialogue, you'll place it to the left. And again, at the end of the visit, we're looking to have the exact number of one tricks equal to the number on that fief card. If so, you'll go ahead and slide the card down and show their favor for Northwood, or you'll discard that ruler and flip the card over to show that it was a failed dialogue. And that's all we need to know to get started. Our goal is to gain 16 favor points by the end of the game. So we're going to jump in to our first visit. And based on our cards here, we have a high card in some of the suits. We have a lot of red as well. So I'm wondering if we should go for one of the bigger cards, such as this King of Flowers here, where we would need to win five dialogues in order to gain their favor. We don't have any rulers that we have previously won to substitute in, so we're going to um, just go ahead and start out. I don't think that I want to use any of these quite yet, so let's engage in our first dialogue with the King of Flowers. We have a one of flowers, which is great because we have the two of flowers, which would be a win since that is the trump suit. We've played the highest card. Then they're going to play a six of eyes. Now, unfortunately, we have to follow with our five eyes. Um, which was a kind of high card there. That is a fail dialogue. I think we want to push forward. Any other suit we're good for is even blue because we can't follow a suit there, so we could play one of our trump cards. Ooh, just barely. Okay, we have a seven of leaves, which we will go ahead and um, play an eight of leaves. And now we could use one of these if we want to. This allows us to draw more cards. This allows us to draw two cards and discard two. Discard cards that match the current rule of suit. I don't think we want to do that. So we're going to continue on. We have an eight of flowers. Oh no. Okay. This is not looking great. Um, let's do one more. We have a three of leaves. We have the four of leaves. So we have won three out of our five dialogues. I think we can definitely, well, we can absolutely win with the seven of flowers. And if we get a great card, we could also win with the eight of um, paws here. So claws, sorry, claws, not paws. Oh, okay. So we have a six and then we have a two. I think we'll just go ahead and lose that one. 
And then we have a one, which we can win with a seven. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five cards in our winning pile, which means we've had a successful dialogue with the King of Flowers and they are gonna provide us with two favor in support of Northwood. All right, at this point, we're gonna take all the dialogue cards back up. We are going to reset any allies we use, if we use any, and then we are going to draw eight cards. And then we're gonna draw eight cards to start our new hand. These cards are very plasticky. You can probably hear them on the mic. So sorry. <laughs> and maybe we should just have like a, an ASMR stream one day. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One down, seven to go. Can we get a perfect score? No one knows. Okay. What do we have here? We have a lot of um, teal eyes this round. So maybe we want to go for a higher teal, but we have low cards of every other suit, which isn't super great. So we might want to go for something a little bit easier, perhaps like the queen of leaves, or we could go for the king of eyes for seven. And you just know that we're going to be using a lot of our powers. Um, Seems like a lot though, but I think we're just going to try it and see what happens. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, we're not gonna use any to start with. Um, and I don't wanna substitute in the King of Flowers because that makes us get rid of cards. Ooh, and we're off to a great start with a lost dialogue in Claws. Let's keep going and see what we get. We have a three of eyes, which we can win with the five of eyes. We have a six of flowers, not great, but we can draw more cards with the Jack of Claws. So fingers crossed on that. We have a five of leaves. We can win that with the six of leaves. Four of eyes. Ooh, do we want to use this? Yes, I suppose. Um, let's do, these all seem like losing cards. So I think what we'll do is we will um, use our Jack of Claws to draw up to um, so that our hand is full of eight cards. Actually, mm, we're going to wait on that because if we use some of these, then we'll at least get more cards. A one. Okay, so we can win this. We can't follow suit, so we're going to win with the trump suit. We have four of seven that we would need. If I draw six more cards, I could win half. So let's use the jack of claws. Um, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These this is our new hand. Ooh, and we have a lot of low yellow, which is not great. Um, but we do have some other cards that we could utilize in order to mitigate that, I believe. Um, all right, let's push ahead. Or so we could win with the eight. Not great, but it is what it is. We have a seven. That's going to be a loss. We have a two. That's also going to be a loss. Six, mm, not looking good. An eight, nope. Okay, so we have five. We need to win two more. We've played a lot of high claws. We've played a lot of high leaves, but they need to lead with those in order for us to win. Let's do one more and see what happens. Um, Yeah. Oh, no. Not great. So, one, two, three, four, five. Do we want to draw two and discard two? I mean, we might as well because then we can get the best of whatever there is. Um, let's keep the trump suit card and get rid of the low leaves card. Also get rid of the low claws card. Um, but it's just gonna come down to which suits are played. So, oh, okay, we have that. And then we just need a yellow card to be played. Oh no, okay, well, regardless of what we would have kept, it wouldn't have happened. So um, this is gonna go to the discard pile. And unfortunately we've only won six out of seven, which means that the King of Eyes will get discarded and this card will be turned over. Ooh, okay. And that's unfortunate because as you can see, that would have provided us with four, um, ooh, four favor points which is kind of a lot when we're going for 16. That's like a quarter, it's a quarter of our points there. Alrighty, so let's see what our next hand is. One, two, three, woo, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty, 
So we do have a lot of blue again, um, some pretty high cards as well. Um, da, da, da. And a couple of ones. Hmm. I think we can go definitely not for the Queen of Flowers because we only have one red card, um, but we could potentially win four tricks with the Queen of Leaves. We could also try to win some of our lower valued cards here. Um, maybe let's go for the Queen of Claws because we don't have much gray and we have some options to swap out these higher cards. So let's actually start out with that from the Jack of Eyes or we can substitute in the King of Flowers. Hmm. I want to save them though because I think this is doable. The first thing that we're going to do is use the Jack of Flowers to discard all cards um, that match the current ruler's suit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That way we don't have any cards of the um, winning Trump suit, which should be pretty good. And we can only use one of these. Otherwise, I would probably want to get rid of those eights right away as well. But they could come in handy for winning two of these. Okay, so we have a two. Let's just get rid of this eight as one of our wins. Let's do one more. We have a six. And that is of the Trump suit. So no matter what we play, we're going to lose. Um, we have a five. So we play a one and lose that. We have a one, so we play a six. Let's see what we get with our draw from the Jack of Eyes. Oh, those are really good cards. So let's <laughs> get rid of those, I think. Um, and we have to flip now. We have a four. We can't follow suit, so let's just get rid of that six. And we have a four. Sweet. So we've won exactly two um, of those. Queen of Claws, welcome to the club. All right, and let's go ahead and reset. Shuffling cards and resetting is one of these things that um, when you're playing just solo on your own, for me, is very calming. I know that people feel very differently about shuffling, but I can imagine that it's not the most fun thing to watch. So I'll probably cut a lot of these shuffling resets out in post. All right. Um, Let's put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is our starting hand. Let's see. Again, we have quite a bit of blue happening. Have some red here and a little smidgen of gray. Okay, let's see. We could, hmm. We could try to go for the Queen of Eyes and get rid of these blue right away using the Jack of Flowers. Let's do that. So boom, boom, and let's see. Ooh, perfect. Let's get rid of, mm, but we need to win three. Oh, I might have messed up. Let's go ahead and get rid of this two. We have a four, which we can win with the seven. A five, which we lose. Let's, oh no. Hmm. Let's draw back up to H. That was a very poor miscalculation on my part. Um, because now we have to win exactly two more. And I didn't think that I should have used the Jack of Flowers later so that we would have won a couple tricks first. But that's OK. We'll see what we can do. We have a six, which we lose. We have a one, which we win no matter what. Maybe let's use the five and keep the seven. We have a six, which we win with an eight. OK, so now we have to get rid of some high cards. Let's um, use the Jack of Eyes to draw two and discard two. Beautiful. Let's get rid of the seven. Let's get rid of the three since that's the Trump suit. And we'll keep these tiny ones over here. Good. Lose. Definitely lose. Um also lose as long as we don't play the trump suit oof lose good there it is all right we've got it in the bag okay so we have one two three dialogues that were successful queen of eyes is in support of northwood and everybody is happy so far so good um we have won three out of the four dialogues however the one dialogue that we lost was worth as many points as these three combined so eh, we'll see uh, we also have some new abilities looking at the top card of the deck and the discard pile and the score or drawing up the top card from the deck, the discard pile and the score pile. 
um, looking at the top three cards of the deck and returning them in the same order. So just kind of peeking ahead a little bit. Um, those could be quite helpful. Let's see. Could this be the day where we win over the Queen of Flowers with some pretty high cards? I honestly think so because we have some very high valued cards. We have a little bit of red and um, we have the help of our lovely little friends here. Um, do we want to substitute in another ruler, though, is the question. So I'm thinking it might be helpful to be able to draw up cards or to see ahead. I don't know that I want to use both of them quite yet, but having more cards would be good. We do have the Jack of Claws. I think we'll take the Queen of Claws and replace the Jack of Flowers. We want to probably keep most of the cards of the um, uh, Trump suit for this round to try to win six. So we have a seven. We're starting off strong with a win here. With eight of eyes. We have a four. Another good one. A one. Okay. All of our Trump cards are gone. So we can draw the top card from the deck, the discard pile, and the score pile. I think we're going to go ahead and use that ability. And the Queen of Claws, I mean, you can do this at the end, but they are going to get discarded. All right, so we have our eight and our one back. We also have a four of leaves. We've won two tricks and we need to win six. A six, that's going to be a loss. A two, that's going to be a, oh my gosh, that's not great. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, eight of leaves, not great either. A two, we can win that with a three. A four, we can win that with a five. Okay, now we can only win one more trick. So let's see how this plays out. We have a one of claws, which we can win with a one. Um, but then we might be a little messed up if we get a yellow card. I'm gonna go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe draw two, discard two. At least we'll have options. Oh, we would have been fine. Oh no. Um, I will get rid of these two higher valued cards. That way we have two ones. There's no way we can win with those um, because they're not the Trump suit. So we should be fine. Good. All right. So we've won six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that is six. I can count. We're good. And the Queen of Flowers has been won over. And again, if you lose a dialogue, that uh, ruler is discarded from the game. If you substitute in a ruler, regardless of whether or not you use their power, they are removed from the game as well. So that's an important thing to remember. All right, and we're gonna pull our next hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Okay, what do we want to go for? Maybe the Queen of Leaves, but we do have quite a few high cards of that suit. Um, or we do have quite a few low cards of other suits and we could go for one of these other ones. Um, I think we need to balance this out a bit more. So we're going to go for the King of Leaves. Gun's my better judgment. I am going to use the Jack of Flowers. Oh wait, let's see, do we want to substitute? Um, <laughs> I can use the King of Flowers to get rid of some stuff. I don't think we're going to need to draw up more cards. Ooh. Place the top card of the score pile face down on top of the deck. I think we want to save that for our zero here. I think we'll be good. We're going to discard all the cards of the matching suit, which is yellow leaves. And then we're going to start our first dialogue here. Eight of flowers. Beautiful. Four of flowers. Excellent. <laughs> One of um, claws. We've won that. Okay, so what was that power that we took? Discard two cards whose sum is value nine. Whoops, well, we've uh, <laughs> we've crossed that bridge. Um, draw two cards, discard two cards. Maybe we should use that. We're uh, in some troubling waters here. Okay, so that's about as good as it's gonna get. Um, we have had a lot of the lower Cards of these be played though, I think. So we'll keep that instead of the claws card, which I think we've only had the one of these. I don't really remember if I'm being honest. Six. Oh my gosh. Okay, it doesn't matter though, because we can play this and lose because we can't follow suit. We have a six. Boom, done. King of Leaves. Welcome to Northwood. What's up? <laughs> All right, and the King of Flowers we didn't use, but like I said, they get discarded anyway. So, so far, we have. 11 points of favor for Northwood. 
Um, just taking a peek here, that would bring us to 12, and this would bring us to 16. So, so it looks like we have to win both in order to win, unless I can't count, which is not unlikely. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there are 20 points in total. Um, that doesn't quite add up, but let's see. All right, can we win over the King of Claws? That is the question. I think that's what we want to go for. Queen of Leaves should be pretty easy later on. So we're gonna need, we're, we're going to need a lot of help here. Place the top card of the score pile down on the deck. We don't wanna draw more cards. Look at the cards. Um, this one allows us to exchange with a neutral ruler up to two fiefs away, which we don't have. So, boom, that. And do we want to look at the top card of the deck and exchange it with a card in our hand? I think we'll be okay here. I'm going to start out by using the Jack of Flowers to discard all of the cards of the Trump suit that we have. And then we're going to go. All right, two of leaves. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That was, I didn't look at the values of cards that we have here. Oh man, so that's an auto lose. I mean, we'll just play it out for playing sake, but that is really unfortunate. We could have just gotten a claw and been fine, but that is just not how things happened here today, folks. So King of Claws is gone. Four points of favor, gone. Oh, Queen of Flowers, Queen of Eyes, never used, gone. All gone. <laughs> bye bye. Oh no. All right. Well, we could still get one point of favor from the Queen of Leaves, but unfortunately, that still leaves us with a losing score, I believe. All right. Let's see what we can do, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're visiting the Queen of Leaves. We don't have a choice. The only choice we have is do we want to use the King of Leaves? I mean, might as well. Let's just go for it and see what happens. This is about a 50-50 shot, so it should hopefully work out in our favor. But um, we'll see. Oh, and off to a great start. Eight. Oh my gosh. What did I say? One. This is good. All right. Um, do I want to use these yet? No. Four. Boom. Three. I cannot win because that is the Trump suit. Oh man. What do we want to get rid of? A low card? And if I can <clears throat> and if I can win these two, we'll be good. Look at the top deck card of the deck, exchange it with a card in your hand. But my cards are pretty good. Oh. But then I'll know what's coming up. Mmm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can't use the Jack of Leaves. Um can't use the Jack of Flowers. Let's draw two and discard two. Maybe we'll get some cards of the Trump suit. Not even close. Just kidding. Okay, so we just have to go for it. A six. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Seven. Boom. So we were one short. And unfortunately, we do not have favor from the Queen of Leaves. So our final total score, if we count up our stars, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We needed 16 at a minimum to win, 20 for a perfect score. So we were quite a ways off, but today we were super close, like one off, I think, on all three of those tricks, if my memory serves me correct. Um, but alas, we did not secure enough favor from the rulers in support of Northwood today. So there you have it. That is a solo playthrough of For Northwood. Now it will probably come as no surprise to anybody that I was immediately drawn in by the adorable art for this game. I mean, I've seen some pretty cute games, but it's really reminiscent of like those really cute toddler toys. But when you walk by them in a department store, you're like, man, I don't have any kids, but those are super cute. Maybe I'll just get some. <laughs> Um, so it was really refreshing to see this style of art in a game. It's definitely very me. I know it's probably not for everyone, but it's cool that there is the option for those who are absolutely enamored with it, much like I am. Moving on to the mechanics. Trick taking is something that can be very played out. I have quite a few trick taking games, um, some of which are some of my favorite games, and I really love seeing designers take a standard traditional mechanism in the industry and turning it on its head. 
Now, a lot of these trick-taking games do revolve, similar to Ford Northwood, on winning a certain number of tricks, which makes sense. It works. Um, it's not the standard trick-taking, but it is something that we've kind of seen a little bit more and more popping up. So for me, the draw in in that sense wasn't huge. There are a couple other trick-taking games that have solo play or are solo based that revolve around this similar mechanic as well. So I was interested to see what the difference was between those and for Northwood and if this game had any particular advantage over them in any sort of way. That being said, again, the art and presentation, I think it's so unique that if you are intrigued by the idea of solo trick-taking and you are drawn to this type of artwork and illustration, go for it, hit it out of the park, 10 out of 10. If this isn't so much your theme, there are other games that employ similar mechanisms. However, I will say that in terms of story integration, this game probably does it a little bit better than some of the other ones that I've seen that have felt more abstract or more uh, of a departure from the theme. Now, it might be a little bit of a stretch to say that each trick is a dialogue and that you have to have the right balance of dialogue with each of the different rulers, but I think it works quite well and I think it's super charming and really fits with the theme. The mechanics are solid and the emotional buy-in, for me at least, with this game was huge. The other great thing I love is that this is a game you can pretty much take anywhere. It doesn't take up too much table space. It's very portable, very transportable. Um, and the production from Side Room Games, as they do, is excellent and on point as always with the plastic cards so that uh, you don't have to worry about sleeving, you don't have to worry about damaging the cards over time, you can take it with you wherever you're going and just know like, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to stay intact, everything's going to be fine. The ease and speed of play with this one is really great too. Having to stop and shuffle between, between each of the visits might for some people be a little bit of a drawback because it does take a little bit of a significant amount of time. When playing this off camera, I don't notice as much because I love shuffling. It's very therapeutic for me. Just the sound of shuffling, the feel of it, the routine. I know that some people have a gripe with Oniram because of all the shuffling, but I love it. It really just kind of calms me and puts me in a zone. Um, but upon recording it, I did realize that there is quite a bit of downtime with shuffling that takes away from the main game mechanic. So if you're not a fan of shuffling, that is a little something to keep in mind. But again, it doesn't feel that significant other than the fact that this game is so quick and so smooth between those shuffling parts. So it's a little bit of a double-edged sword depending on your personal preferences. Overall, for me, this is a really great, concise game, solid mechanics, great buy-in and storytelling. It really draws me in emotionally and I just have a fun time playing it. And with all the different variabilities, there's a little campaign booklet that you can play through. I feel like there's a lot of replayability with this one, um, both just with the base game and with the extra components that are included, like other rulers, the campaign booklet. This is a lot of value in a really small package. And one that I can say, if this intrigues you from watching the playthrough, from seeing the video, I can wholeheartedly recommend that you get it for yourself and give it a try. And that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe. The big thing is hitting the bell for notifications, especially with these uh, solo videos that are very specific. They don't get pushed out to a wide audience. So if you want to make sure that you're updated anytime I upload a new one, make sure you hit the bell because who knows, it could be your next favorite game. I don't know. If you have other suggestions for small uh, solo games or trick taking games, please leave them down in the comments below. Always looking for new titles to check out and y'all are a great source of inspiration for that. Thanks as always for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.